Can SureForce pay on my farm? That's the question that you're asking yourself. And to put that to the test, we planted this trial in Southern Minnesota with a 24 row white planter where the left half of the planter is equipped with the Ag Leader SureForce system. The right side of the planter is equipped with the factory airbags. The SureForce system is monitoring ground conditions 200 times per second, and it automatically adjusts the downforce needs for every row. The airbags, you simply have to pull into the field, plant a ways, and then set them according to what you find digging behind the planter. In this field, the airbags were set to 30 PSI, which equates to 120 pounds of downforce. When we look at the gauge wheel load for those rows equipped with the airbags, the lowest measured reading was zero pounds. That of course is gonna give us shallow planted seeds. The highest reading was 319 pounds. That's gonna to equate to compaction that's gonna reduce yield. To the left over here is the side that was planted with SureForce. This is with airbags. And the ground down there is pretty consistent, nice soil, but right here it starts to change. There used to be a building here. And you can see the tough conditions that SureForce can plant through. Now over here on the right side of the screen, those are the rows planted with SureForce, and you can see a lot of those plants there. But as we pan to the left, we start seeing some missing plants, some inconsistent plants. So I'm gonna dig those up and we're gonna check for depth consistency of the rows planted with airbags versus the rows that were planted with SureForce. The ground right here is extremely hard. So we're gonna dig up five plants and compare the depth consistency of row 12 that was equipped with SureForce to row 13 that was equipped with airbags. We start by cutting the plants off right at the surface. Given the tough conditions, I'm happy with the consistency that we see from row 12 with the SureForce. But when we compare that to row 13 with the airbags, you can see inconsistencies in plants. We've got missing plants. And right here, there's even a seed that didn't quite make it in the ground. So that would be a zero depth. But you can see that that row definitely struggled. This is, of course, an extreme environment to plan into, but it's a great example of the type of conditions that SureForce is still able to perform. Over here on the right side, we've got rows that were planted with airbags, and we lost gauge wheel load here. I know there's gonna be shallow planted seeds here, and in several cases, we've got missing plants. But over here on the left, this was planted with SureForce. And even though they're hard to see, those plants are here, and they're looking fairly consistent. Really as good as we could hope for in this type of environment. But straight ahead, where the soil becomes more uniform, the airbags are now giving us 250 pounds of gauge wheel load, and the SureForce system has led up on the rows to give us 100 pounds of gauge wheel load. I'm gonna walk out there and we're gonna dig up those plants to compare root development with what was planted with airbags at 250 pounds of gauge wheel load versus the SureForce side with 100 pounds of gauge wheel load. Right here's that airbag row that was planted at 250 pounds of gauge wheel load. And just using my seed depth tool, I can poke it into the ground and feel that we do have some compaction here. Next thing I'm gonna use my paint scraper to pop open that trench. And what we're worried about is root development. It's right here at the top of the plant. These nodal roots should come out 90 degrees to each other, and you'll have four of them total. You can see these two were growing together in the seed trench. So that's not gonna support the plant well as it ages. That's a sign there that we've got restricted root development. Let's dig up a couple more. Though those five plants I dug up, we do see root development issues on most of them. Here you can see the nodal roots. Those two were growing together within the trench. The first plant we dug up, same thing, two nodal roots together within the trench. This one's a little young and tough to see, but you can see that those roots are not 90 degrees from each other as they should be. 
this one looks pretty good. They're coming out 90 degrees from each other, even though that plant's a little bit behind. And this one, far enough behind that we don't see those roots yet. 18 from the airbag side. So we're gonna go check row seven now from the Surefor side. Same method, I'm just gonna pop open these five plants, we'll take a look at those roots. That first one looks pretty good. Second plant, near perfectly 90 degrees from each other on those nodal roots. Here as well. This one's only got three of the four, but they're in the right orientation. And that fifth plant looks great as well. Here's another thing I noticed. These bottom five were planted with the airbags. And they don't look terrible, but when you compare that to the root development of what was planted with 100 pounds of gauge wheel load, we've just got so much more hairs there to pull up nutrients and moisture. Things just look so much better. Look at, look at the length of that root on the Surefor side. As tall as the plant compared to maybe about a third of the plant there. We visited the field in the middle of June and dug up some plants that were planted with the airbag system. And what we found is those roots are being trapped within the trench. That's not gonna be able to supply the plant with nutrients well as it ages. On the Surefor side of the planter, however, we see that those roots are much more developed. That's gonna be able to supply and better support the plant throughout the remainder of its life. This is the center of our planter pass. 24 rows to the right were equipped with airbags, 24 to the left with the Surefor system. As soon as I walked out here, I can see that the ground is opening up at the base of the plants, going from plant to plant that was planted with the airbags. That's an indicator that we had too much downforce. We don't see that on the Surefor side. So even though the ground is cracking, it's not opening up at that trench. That tells us that we didn't cause compaction there. We did a good job at closing that trench and making it like the planter had never been there. That's important. I'm gonna count off 24 rows and we'll see this crack on just about every row. So this is the last row that's equipped with the airbags. You can see that cracks that we're talking about where the ground's opening up where that trench was made. This is the very first row planted with Sureforce. So we're automatically controlling our gauge wheel load. We don't have that ground cracking open. This is one of the major values of the Sureforce system. When we get to lighter ground or more mellow soil, it can uplift. When we get to harder ground, it can push back down. So incredible performance here in these lighter soils. Right here we've got sandy soil. It's very mellow conventional till situation. And with this sandy soil, no matter how hard we squeeze it, we can't cause compaction. You just can't pack that sand. But 100 yards behind me, the soil switches to clay, and now compaction becomes a concern that Sureforce can help us deal with. So now we've moved in to a clay soil type, and it was still pretty mellow planting conventionally tilled, but with that clay underneath the gauge wheels that are carrying 250 pounds on the airbag side, when we compact that soil, it holds together and the roots have a hard time penetrating that compaction. And we've got so much compaction that even today, we can still see where that trench was created. When we can see that, that's a good indicator that we were carrying far too much gauge wheel load for the conditions that we were planting into. Sureforce is often one of the most valuable tools that you can put on your planter because it allows you to set the proper soil density to get quick even emergence without causing too much compaction that you limit root development. So in this trial, in those higher clay content soils, Sureforce allows us to lighten up, giving us healthy plants and great yields. Everything that we've seen in the field so far this year is indicating that the Sureforce system is gonna pay. But for the final answer, 
Let's take a look at what the yield monitor has to say. Let's take a look at that building site where the ground conditions were hard and the airbags were planting the seeds shallow. The Surefor system could give us what we needed and that bumped our yield by a whopping 14 and a half bushels per acre. I know you probably don't have a lot of spaces like this on your farm, so let's look at the rest of the field where the ground conditions were more consistent. The Surefor system was able to lighten up where it needed to, preventing compaction, and that improved yield by six bushel an acre. The field average gave a seven and a half bushel an acre bump with Sureforce. That's real money, and that's how the Sureforce system can pay for itself on farms like yours.